Hey everybody, it's Erin at Scandalous Beauty. I'm back today for another Makeup for Beginners tutorial. So I showed you how to already apply a single eyeshadow, but now I'm going to show you how to pump that look up a little bit and apply two eyeshadows. So just like in the first video, these are very basic. So I don't apply liner or lashes, mascara, any of that stuff. It's up to you to decide if you want to go that route. And um, so the looks won't um, be as... as um, fantastic as they could be but this is again just the basics I will show you how to apply all kinds of things and also uh, I'll have a link to all of my makeup for beginners videos below so you can check those out and um, all right take a look the first method that I'm gonna do is going to be an eyeshadow wash all over and then a, a darker crease so I will start with my paint pot. This is Land Low Paint Pot. I prefer painterly. I have no idea where it is. So I'm going to apply that all over the eye. My brow bone stops here so I really should have my my lid color going all the way up here and put my crease up here. But for the sake of the video I'll keep it simple. Then, uh, because I want this to the frosty color to pop, I'm going to apply a bit of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It really, really does make those frosty colors pop a lot. So I apply a teeny bit to my finger here, kind of dab some off so you can barely see it on my finger. And I apply it to the base so the most color is on the bottom and kind of pull it up a bit so it grabs onto the shadow but doesn't it grabs onto the other primer but doesn't make it too uh muddy and again everybody does not have to do this this is the way that i do it it really helps me out a lot this is liar from the naked three palette and i'm going to apply it all over the lid with my C209 chisel pointed fluff brush so it's kind of a fluffy um, eyeshadow brush a little's gonna go a long way so I'm just applying it all over the lid kind of leaving that outside open a bit um, I didn't apply the color there if you do it won't ruin anything but it just is a little easier not to do it that way and then I will apply using um, my fluffy pointed brush uh, well it's not pointed fluffy the C433 pro blending brush from crown brush uh, I'm gonna do Mac shadowy lady this is oops, back here like a really dark eggplant it's definitely one of my favorite colors I'll pick up a, a little bit of color on the brush and I'm just going to apply it in that outer corner see so like right in that outer corner there and I'm kind of like packing it on and bringing it around into the crease So you can intensify it and add more color. And all of this really takes place, it takes shape once you apply that, that eyeliner and the mascara and all that. Alright, and here's that second look where I'm going to apply the color to the crease. So the next option is to kind of color in the crease. So draw the crease in here and then do your lid color here. So I'm going to do the same process again by applying the Lay and Low Paint Pot. Now this is when you really want the color to hit your crease because you're gonna need this to make the crease color really kind of stick. Um, I see some people that use foundations or they'll use the same, the glitter glue again or, or you know, Urban Decay Primer Potion or there's a, a million primers out there. Really just um, play around and try to find the one that works for you. 
and I like to blend really really well so there's no line of, of demarcation now I have a much larger lid size I all that space than than most people so um, technically my crease would be up here but today I'm just gonna do it right in here uh, and make my lid here so I'm using a dark brown this palette is so old this is my first palette so I'm kind of scared to do this but there's a color um, over here that I'll be using Ooh, oop, see there it goes um, well the color is called Foley so it's a dark chocolatey brown and I'll be picking up some of that it's in pieces so um, the color is there and you'll be able to see when I apply it what it really looks like so there's the color and you kinda wanna build it you don't wanna start off with a lot and have a whole bunch of color on the uh, on your on your your eye because it's a lot harder to get rid of too much color so I'll apply a little bit more just so you can get the effect Again, experiment, see what works for you, try different color combinations. This brown is just really, really easy to knock out, so that's why I'm doing it. And I'll just apply um, another color that's in this palette. This is Antiqued, which is like a burnt copper-ish, dark burnt copper. I'll apply it with my flat 242 MAC brush and apply it right in that open space. Now, some people do it the opposite way. They do the lid first and then do the crease after but for me I just like to be able to have that kind of like road map um, and I don't want my colors to always um well to me it just it just makes things a little easier there's no right or wrong way just do whatever makes you feel comfortable and that would be how you would do a crease all over and a lid in the middle again everything gets kind of shaped up uh, when you apply your eyeliner and your mascara but this is just a demonstration of how to do a two eyeshadow look so that was makeup for beginners how to apply two eyeshadows um, I've got a link below that will give you swatches of the primers that I use below they they are great for me I really really like them um, but play around you might find something that works a lot better for you that could be cheaper could be more expensive I don't know but um try out whatever you know you'd like whatever floats your boat um don't be afraid to experiment with color and um as always I do have more videos coming out so uh if you would like um I'm on Twitter I'm very active the Scandalous Beauty Facebook page is active as well as Pinterest and Instagram so those links are below I'm pretty much Scandalous Beauty or Erin Scandalous on everything so um it would be great if you could follow along and I will see you for some new videos coming out very very soon all right see ya